Hello everyone! Today I have a book for you guys that I actually bought at a park in the United States and in this park there's a really big mammal that lives there and it has brown or black fur and if I saw one of these I would run away. Do you have a guess about what the animal is? Maybe you guessed that it's a bear! So this book is called If You Were a Bear. So make a prediction in your head. What do you think this book is going to be about? If you think about maybe it's what your life would be like if you were this large mammal that lived in the forest, that's probably a good prediction. So this book was written by, the author is Rachel Mazur, and it was illustrated by Sabrina Jespin. And this is a paperback book. I can fold it this way and that. It has a front cover, a back cover, and a spine that includes the name of the author here, and if you were a bear, the title. Imagine that you fell asleep, a person sleeping in your bed, but you woke up in the morning as a black bear cub instead. So the cub is what they call a baby bear. So this is the little bear, it's a cub. What would you eat? Where would you sleep? How would you spend your day? How long would your claws be? How much would you weigh? So how heavy would you be? Would you wear shoes, a shirt, a hat, or purple underwear? How would your days be different if you became a bear? Do bears wear clothes? No, they don't. You'd start your life in winter snuggled deep inside a den. So does you see the bear here? A den is kind of like a cave. It's a place where a bear can go to sleep when it's snowing outside. Do you know what that's called when an animal spends a whole big long stretch of time sleeping? Hibernation. Born smaller than a football, so very small can fit in our hands. With a sibling for a friend. So here the mom and two baby bears. Inside the den, you drink mom's milk. That's one way we know that a bear is a mammal because mammals give milk to their babies. To quickly grow in size, you'd soon have fur, strong teeth, and claws and open up your eyes. You'd find your fur might not be black. It could be blonde or brown. You'd test your little padded paws to move softly on the ground. Then, once the days got warmer and your mom was in the mood, she'd lead the family out the den to start to look for food. So one of the reasons that animals leave their hibernation is because they're getting hungry. They eat a lot before they go into their hibernation and then they leave when they're starting to get hungry and the season is changing. Is it snowy outside like we saw before? No, the plants are growing, the grass is green. It is the spring or primavera. In springtime, you would eat new grass and roots and tasty plants. In summer, you might eat your fill of the berries, fish, and ants. So this page gives us the information that a bear eats both plants and other animals. So that makes it an omnivore, it eats both. And over here we see a bumblebee that helps the plants to grow. Some days you'd look for honey, probing beehives with your tongue. Something so sweet must be a treat cause you'd likely get stung. So if they go in to get the bees and they stick their tongue in, a bee might sting them or picar. With teeth and claws, you'd tear up logs and find the ants inside. As they'd run, you use your tongue to eat them before they can hide. How many ants are on this page? One, two, three, four, five. Your sense of smell would serve you well to find delicious meats. Your sense of sight would guide you right to other tasty treats. So they use their nose to smell for yummy foods and they use their eyes to look for 
yummy plants. When you're not eating, you'd have lots of time to play, to climb trees, to just have fun, or nap the day away, taking a nap by the river. Your days would have adventures and you'd safely wander free. But when your mom would sound alarm, you'd scramble up a tree. As you grew, you'd learn to tell the safe things from the dangers. You'd stand up tall and sniff the air to learn of coming strangers. So just like if you saw a bear while you were walking, if a bear saw you, it would run away too. Bears are scared of people. When autumn came, you'd spend your days climbing in the trees and eating crunchy acorns till the ground began to freeze. Oh, it's getting cold. Can you make a prediction about what the bears are going to do now that it's getting cold? What is that? The snow. Your mom would then prepare a den as snow began to fall. You'd snuggle in to sleep for months and you would not eat at all. So he's eating all those acorns before so that he has a lot of fat on his body to sleep all the winter. This is the way things rightly go when bears are wild and free, but things go wrong when food's left out by folks like you and me. Now food can mean an ice cream cone or a seed meant for the birds or scraps of meat left on the grill or garbage by the curb. So this page is just talking about when bears go and look for people food. If you live in a place where there's bears, you have to use a special place to put your trash so that the bear doesn't come and open it. Oh, look at the bear right there. It's looking at the table, watermelon. A curious bear will follow its nose to find these yummy treats then quietly sneak on padded paws and snatch a bite to eat. And once a bear tastes human food that's rich in calories, it finds new ways to grab some more without a thanks or please. What happened over here? The bear went into that cabin. And claws that once were used on logs are used to open sheds and teeth that once bit open fruits can bite open cans instead. And though at first it's funny watching bears sneak past your lawn, broken sheds cost money and then people want the bears gone. So do your part to keep bears wild by guarding food and trash. Clean your grill, feed your pets indoors, and close the window so bears don't come inside. Do we have that problem here in Honduras? Do you have bears coming to your house? No, there are other animals that might come eat your trash, like a dog, or a raccoon, or a possum. For bears that don't eat human food, stay wild and safe and free. How fun to be a little bear climbing up in a tree. The end. I hope you liked this book about bears. We even learned some facts about bears.